Atex GUI designers allow you to reach millions of new customers available in the mobile market. This is done by either using the Kiwi GUI designer, which is found under the new Python script, or the PySide 2 GUI designer, which also allows you to create a mobile UI that can then be distributed amongst phones. Both these Android and iOS UI builders are available in their unlimited form starting from the MD Python designer, giving you an affordable way to reach those new customers. With the Kiwi library, you can have one source code file that generate a UI on both Android and iOS from that one file. However, with PySide 2, you will need a separate file for each of the operating systems and cannot use that one code base directly on both those operating systems. However, it does have a lot more personalization and allows you to customize your GUI in a much more unique sense and give you that perfect feel that you would go for. That being said, both the Android and iOS UI builders do use Python and also have the same user interface, which is a drag and drop interface. To access the GUI designers, you need to go to the programming ribbon, click GUI designer and then click new to create a new widget. Now from here we can see how easy it is to add elements and customise them all without writing a single line of code. To do this, we just need to click on a widget and then click where on the canvas we would like to put it. As you can see, because we are creating an Android or iOS UI, our canvas is already in the shape of a phone. This will better give us a feel of how it will actually look on a mobile device instead of how it will look like on a computer. And here, the customization of any canvas or widget is on the right hand side while adding any new elements on the left hand side. As you can see, we simply need to click on the element and then drop it where we would like it. And we can do this for as many elements as we want. There are also containers such as the scroll widget, tab widget, as well as one widget which can group together all of the elements inside it as one group. As mentioned before, you can see the customization on the right hand side with the font, font color and background color, as well as the width and height being able to be changed all without writing any code. You can also change the size of it by using the blue boxes found on the edges. And then finally, once you have finished with your GUI, all you need to do is click done and the code will automatically be generated. All this code which is automatically being generated by MatDeck can be used to create a UI on either Android or iOS just from this one file and it does not need to be compiled separately for each of the operating systems. And also this code is written in Python, an incredibly easy to learn and use language in comparison to other languages. This is just one of the Android and iOS UI builders available in MatDeck but you can also use the PySide 2 UE Builder to break into the mobile marketplace to reach new customers. Both of these no-code UE Builders come together in one package. This means that it is not only affordable, but it also gives you several options to help develop and explore your app or enter the mobile market. Now with the PySide 2 UE Builder, it also uses Python, and when we open the GUI designer, we have the same layout. However, the code generated is the only thing that is different giving you an incredibly easy to learn interface while also not changing it between languages. Now, just like before, we click on the elements and then where on the canvas we would like to place them. And we can see on the right hand side that we can customize it, changing their font, font color, background color, also what cursor will appear when we hover over the elements. We can also change the text here or by double clicking on the element itself. One clear advantage of these drag and drop UI builders is how we can instantly add several elements and widgets in seconds instead of needing to code the widgets and then check to see if the code actually works. We can just click on them and then place them where we would like them. And now we can see what they look like, but also we can just generate their code by clicking done. This is much more time efficient. We can copy and paste UI templates between all the UI builders and not just the Kiwi and the PySide 2 one. This means that you can make one for desktop to then transfer it over to the Kiwi or PySide 2 to allow it to run on Android or iOS and also reshape it a bit to better fit a mobile screen. To do this, all we need to do is head over to the GUI designer icon and then instead of clicking new, we need to click paste once you have copied the one we like. And as you can see, we can see the UI template here. This means that in seconds, we can add as many different widgets as we want not necessarily counting on how long it takes to create these widgets, but also how long it takes to code new widgets to add. This can all be done, and then finally, once we are finished with the UI looks, we can just click done to generate the code. 
as you can see, the code is now being generated. If you want to view the code, all you need to do is hover over the three lines or click it. The same goes for the key view UE Builder. Now, if we double click it, we can see what the actual UE looks like. And as we can see, it is a scientific calculator. Once again, once we click done, all the code will automatically be generated. And as you can see, here is the code. We can see what the UE looks like on desktop instead of having to constantly switch it from between the desktop and the mobile to see what it looks like. This can be done by clicking the evaluate button and from there the code will be executed and we can see what the UE will look like.